In this video, we're gonna go over the top six smart contract tools you need to integrate into your workflow. Over the past two years, I've done a video like this at the beginning of every year, and this year's no different. And we are quite happy that 2022 is done. So let's go. Number one, a language. Solidity continues to be the dominant smart contract language, securing right now around 85% of all value locked in smart contracts. And it's a great language that keeps improving. You can't go wrong if you choose Solidity. However, if we look right under Solidity, we'll see Viper securing around 10% of total value locked. And I gotta be honest, Viper is a sleeper language. Minimal code, Pythonic syntax, and it's even sometimes more gas efficient. I even did a deep dive of Viper versus Solidity versus Huff versus Yule on another channel. Link to that in the description. Going either Solidity or Viper, you're not going to go wrong. However, if you're not interested in EVM, then the Solana-based Rust language is probably for you, securing right now around 1% of total value locked in smart contracts. Then you get into the more obscure languages. Huff being one of my favorite obscure languages because it'll teach you low-level EVM, and Yule being there if you want to optimize your Solidity. Cairo, of course, being for Starkware layer two and reach and fail languages I haven't looked into too much to be honest but maybe I should deployment and testing frameworks the summary of this section is foundry hard hat or brownie and then apeworks remix truffle if you look across the top 10 DeFi protocols from this year we see that hard hat dominated with five of the top 10 DeFi protocols using hard hat even if we look at the top 10 DeFi protocols on arbitrum you can still see the dominance by hard hat and javascript as the tooling framework of choice at the start of last year, Foundry was just coming out, but I gotta tell you that tool is fast and phenomenal. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a huge Foundry push in this coming year. I've done some videos on Foundry in the past, check them out on my YouTube channel. Brownie is still one of the main repos used by the Curve Protocol. However, it's in maintenance mode right now and Apeworks is coming in to be an actively maintained Python framework. So if you're looking for a Python based framework, check one of those two out. Remix continues to be a backbone for beginners and for people looking to test things very quickly. Even all the advanced security experts that I know will oftentimes jump into Remix to try something out quickly. And this year we have to give a salute to Dad App tools for a job well served, they are now in maintenance mode as Foundry has become the benevolent successor to DAP tools. In the same way that Apeworks is going to be the benevolent successor to Brownie and how Hardhat was the benevolent successor to Truffle, uh, or sorry. What did he say? Oh. Actually, jokes aside, Truffle has really stepped the game up this year. I don't know what, I don't know what Saddle is. I don't know what Compound's doing with Saddle. For Solana based frameworks, you basically have two choices, Anchor or Seahorse, and yes, Last year, I might have talked about a certain other chain. Let's just say we're very happy that we don't have to worry about them anymore. Moving on, smart contract essentials, Chainlink and Open Zeppelin. Chainlink. Every single developer should know about these two. Open Zeppelin being essentially the Solidity standard library and Chainlink, of course, being the middleware to get and send data to and from the blockchain with products like price feeds, automation, VRF, arbitrary API calls, and more. Number four, blockchain querying interactions. Etherscan be free. I don't know why, it's free. There are other block explorers as well, but Etherscan is just so embedded in what we do. If Etherscan got hacked, we would be in trouble. We can discuss that another time. Another sleeper tool is Foundry's Cast. I use Foundry's Cast all the time to send transactions, to interact with the blockchain, to get function selectors, to decode inputs. Even if you don't use Foundry as your framework, you definitely should download Cast because it is a phenomenal tool. Let me know if you wanna see a video on Cast. Tenderly is a tool that I've been using more and more this year when I wanna step through all the EVM codes of a specific transaction to see exactly what happened. I would love to see a local version of Tenderly because we can kind of do that with Foundry's Debug or, or Brownie's GUI, but nobody's built it yet. Dune Analytics, I've used surprisingly a lot this year. It's a way to use SQL to query the blockchain. The Morales and Alchemy APIs have helped me out a ton and I expect to keep using them in the future. Security. The security tooling hasn't changed that much. E-Security Toolbox containing Kidna, Slither, and more, and Mithril still tend to be the two best performers for security tools. I will say though that two platforms have definitely emerged for anybody interested in security, Code for Arena and Immunify, and become the de facto places for bug hunters to find bugs and for protocols to get even more secure. AI, as much as I hate to say it, if y'all ain't working with GitHub Copilot, you're going slow. GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT, they've changed the game. There's a lot of controversy around Copilot because it scraped a lot of repositories that it probably shouldn't have. But when you can just hit tab and write nat spec for Solidity, oh my goodness, it's fantastic. And ChatGPT, when you're looking to get 90% of the way there with a beginner project, it's a great tool to ask questions and bounce ideas off of. And here are just some other technologies that are really cool. I might be looking into more this year, et cetera. For data, I still love IPFS. I use it all the time. I did a deep dive on Fogpoint C and Arweave with an unstoppable UI recently. You can check that video out as well. And Filecoin just released their FVM. So I'm quite curious to see how smart contracts work on the Filecoin network. For asking and answering questions, Stack Overflow, Stack Exchange, and Pirata, a decentralized Q&A forum, are places that I'm going to 
continue to frequent asking questions and recording everything. ChatGPT is nice, but oftentimes when you get to niche domains, it gets really confused. ZK EVMs like Polygon, ZK Sync, and Starkware. Front end tools like Wagme React Hooks, Web3 UI Kit, and Web3 React. Aave tooling in general with Lens Protocol, and they're coming up stablecoin. I'm really curious to see. Then artificial intelligence is coming a long way, and I expect to see it emerge to the blockchain space as well. So those are my six plus some more top tools that you need to be aware of for this year. Hope you learned something. I hope you're using the tools that best get the job done. And uh, thank goodness 2022 is done. Let's just move on.